Hello everyone, um, my name is Lydia Gettings and I'm so excited to watch all of you guys' videos. Um, it's fun that we get to meet each other in a way, uh, even though we can't meet each other face to face. So let me go ahead and get into my presentation. Immigration is a controversy on the forefront of many people's minds, especially with the most recent election. Um, there are many different angles from which this controversy can be approached. However, the angle or thesis that I would like to approach it from is, is immigration good or bad overall for the future of America? So I will first address some of the major appeals that both sides use to argue their case and to try to win over their audience. I will refer to the sides as pro-immigration or anti-immigration just for simplicity's sake. So the anti-immigration side of this controversy makes use of logical appeals using facts and statistics. Um, for instance, one article said, by nearly a six to one margin, US voters believe immigration should decrease rather than increase. Um, they also use arguments from authority, quoting economists and um, other kind of authority figures. For instance, they quote the nation's top immigration economist who, in answer to the question, are there any economic benefits from immigration, said, the best research on the subject shows that if there is a benefit, it is tiny or minuscule. On the other side of the argument, the pro-immigration side, they also argue from logic using facts and statistics. However, they also kind of use an emotional appeal, appeal or pathos. Um, so in one of the videos, there's kind of like this sad music playing in the background, and the guy in the video tries to appeal to more of the human side, um, talking about immigrants as individual people who, just like us, want to get that American dream that we're all longing for. Um, they also argue from authority, citing uh, economists as well as the Institute for Taxation and Economic Policy and the American Immigration Council. The second question that I will seek to answer is what are the key moments in the history of this controversy and who are the key advocates? So as I researched the controversy, I came across an article that was very enlightening and um, super helpful. It was called the Historical Overview of Immigration Policy. Um, this article highlighted some key events in the history of immigration. Um, as you can imagine, immigration has played an important role in American history, um, and the United States actually continues to have one of the most open immigration policies in the world. Um, at first, immigration was welcomed, as we had plenty of space because we killed most of the Native Americans, sadly. However, as more and more immigrants came into America, they started to make more rules and more laws. Um, around World War I, they made the um, National Origins Quota System was created. Then in 1924, the U.S. Border P Patrol was established. Another important year was 1986, when Congress passed the Immigration Reform and Control Act. This was to show amnesty to the illegal immigrants that were already here. However, its goal was also to prevent more illegal immigration in the future. But because of low funding, um, this didn't work out so well. Then in future years, again, they made other laws, but funding would continue to be an is issue. Um, in the 90s, other amnesties were passed. However, 9-11 changed things a lot. Um, so in 2007, when more amnesty legislations were made, um, they were super unpopular with Americans, so they didn't pass. As for key advocates on different sides of this controversy, there are some that are more obvious than others. Um, our president and other political leaders are some of the more obvious players in this controversy. Um, Another voice in the controversy is the American Immigration Council. Um, they have a lot of great details and information about immigration, and they seek to promote laws, policies, and attitudes that honor our proud history of immigration. Um, on the more anti-immigration side of the controversy, we have things like the Tea Party movement. Um, 
And then more broadly speaking, we just have everyday people like me and you. A lot of the videos and articles that I read were written and made by just kind of your average run-of-the-mill people who have an opinion and want to voice um, their opinion in this controversy. The next important question that we'll look at is what are the primary matters of mutual concern um, that hold the different sides of this controversy together? So this is where stasis method comes in, and um, this is something that I'm really interested in and I thought was super fascinating, um, because there are certain things in the controversy that both sides agree on, however the conflict comes when they don't agree on something. So both the pro-immigration and the anti-immigration, their goal is to make America great. They want the future of America to be bright, they want economically to prosper, However, what they can't agree on is how America should pro will prosper. So as you can guess, the anti-immigration side um, says Im immigration will ruin America, it's not the future of America, um, it will cause us to fail economically, while the pro-immigration side says no, immigration is what will push us forward, um, it will help us to grow economically, and it will help us to prosper. So. On the qualitative stasis, they agree that they want America to be great. Um, they also agree, even the pro-immigration side agrees, that there are issues with illegal immigration, um, with the system of immigration, and how things work. So on that basis, they agree. However, what they should do about that is where they disagree. Um, Robbie Frank made a video and he talked about instead of just kicking all the illegal immigrants out, why don't we just make citizenship easier so that they won't be illegal and then they can benefit from America and we can benefit from them being here. So that's kind of where the two groups are held together but also disagree. Um, also, who are the key stakeholders in this controversy? The, bo the broad answer is all of us. I mean, we all care about the future of America because we live here. Um, and the people that aren't yet in America but would like to come to America, of course they care as well. Um, also, illegal immigrants that are already here, I'm sure, are waiting with bated breath um, every time that they, the controversy is brought up and they would like it to be resolved. Um, another important stakeholder um, would be business people. My dad owns a contracting business and it's hard because a lot of the people that he would like to hire and who are willing to work um, and do a really great job are illegal immigrants and so it makes it really difficult because there are laws and the rules and um, some of the people he would really love to hire that would really love to work he can't because they're illegal immigrants. So um, those are some of the key stakeholders in this argument. And finally, what are the basic values, definitions, and worldviews that are in contention in this controversy? Um, and even though this sounds kind of cheesy, I think that one of the really big values that is at stake is the American dream. Um, it's wealth, because we in America, we hold really tightly to that American dream of um, living prosperously and having what we want, and so in order to do that we need America to prosper, we need the future to be bright and better than ever. Um, but immigrants want a chance at that American dream also. Um, one of the videos I watched, the guy said, it's not easy to throw everything away on a whim and go to a country where you don't speak the language just because you have hopes of making a better life. I mean, that's the American dream. People immigrate here because they are looking for a better life. They're not trying to move off the system. Um, and so I think that's a really big value that is at stake here. We both, everyone wants the American dream, of course. Everyone wants to have their white picket fence and to live a happy life. However, it's a controversy because we kind of, we in America want to decide who gets the chance at that American dream.